What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be putting some new horns, dual horns to be exact, into the Corolla. So these are from Hella Horn. So I got the yellow ones. There are a red set. I'm not sure if there's any sound difference or not. It looks like they're labeled differently, but I'm not exactly sure. So, but I picked up the yellow ones because I'm going with the yellow accents on the car. And then also to go with that, I picked up a wiring harness. This wiring harness isn't specifically for the Corolla, so we are still gonna have to splice some stuff in, but it'll make the wiring a lot easier to do. So let's hop into the video. All right, so first thing we wanna do, Obviously get the car pulled forward so we can actually see where the horn is. The horn is right there mounted with one bolt and there is going to be a plug that we're going to unplug from that and it's going to be pretty simple. So I'm hoping I won't have to take the bumper off. I'm just going to try to unbolt a couple bolts and clips and hopefully we can just pull it out enough so that way we can just access it. Because it's literally right there. So, But if we do need to take off the bumper it's not that big of a deal. So I'm opening up the box. Let's see what we'll get. Um, but literally it's just the two horns and then it comes with a relay. So we're not going to need this relay since we bought the harness. The harness already comes pre-wired with the relay on it. But if you're going to just splice into your normal wires and you'll just only need this and you won't be stuck with an extra relay. But and then it comes with some basic instructions that honestly kind of confuse, kind of confuse me. But I'm just going to go over that briefly on how the wiring goes. So, again, if you guys are going to order these with the dual horns, might as well just get um, the wiring harness. I believe, I mean, I ordered all this from Amazon. So, I think the wiring harness is like 15 bucks. The horns are like 35 So, pretty simple. I mean, and this wiring harness makes it easy to plug in two horns. Obviously, our car does not have two horns. So... That's why just getting this harness is gonna make everything a lot easier. So these are the two connections that are gonna to go to the horns. They literally just plug in from the back. So you'll just see there are two. I'm not exactly sure which one's positive or negative, but we'll figure that out in a little bit. Um, and you got two horns. So, and this isn't like a train horn setup or anything like that. This is literally just a louder horn than the stock. I will get examples of before and after, so that way you guys will be able to hear it. But, and for now, I'm just gonna go over and just install these, and I'm gonna show you the basic wiring diagram of how you're gonna wanna do it. All right, so I'm just gonna give you guys a basic rundown of how this is gonna get wired. So obviously, if you get the harness, it's gonna be fairly simple. Like I said, you're gonna have these two plugs that are gonna plug onto the back of each horn. And there's one set here, and then there's gonna be another set right here that plug onto the same thing. And then you're gonna have your relay that you're gonna need wired up, but this already comes wired up. And then you're gonna have a, a negative and a positive. So you'll have the negative. That's gonna to go to your negative terminal on your battery. Then you're gonna have a fuse and also a positive that's gonna to go to the positive side of your battery. And then you're gonna have this wiring harness right here coming off, which is gonna be positive negative as well. So, and what you're gonna to wanna to do with this, this is gonna splice into, this is gonna splice into the pre, the wiring that's already in the car. So you're gonna have positive, it's gonna go to the positive and then negative, I don't even think there's a negative. It's just the horn grounds out on the bolt. So we're just gonna probably cut this and put like a little loop on it, just like these are, and then put that with the bolt. Then just get your hefty defty 10 millimeter so we can start loosening all the bolts on the bumper. All right guys, so I just kind of popped off the bumper just slightly. Um, so that way I got room in here to actually work. Um, the new horn's gonna mount here. We're gonna have to find a new bolt, hopefully we can. And then here's the old one right here. And they're just gonna get wired in series. And they feed along the bar here and we're just gonna follow the same wiring and bring it up to our battery. Sorry for any wind. I know it's very windy right now. I don't know why, literally like 10 minutes ago it was super sunny and now it looks like it's about to storm really bad. So hopefully now the wind's not as bad, but yeah, it's just picking up really bad. I might have to scoot the car forward just a little bit 
just to get it under the garage. So that way. The uh, wind's really picking up right now. Alright guys, so I moved the car slightly into the garage. I didn't realize that it was going to rain. If so, I would have pulled out the Camry. But, and now the lighting, hopefully it's not bad. I brought up my light, but the lighting is it's really dark now. So, But again, so now we're going to take out the old horn. Um, That's a 12 millimeter bolt right there. And we'll take out the horn and there's a plug right on the bottom there. And we're going to splice into this wire for positive and ground. We're going to ground it out to the bolt. Dude, don't forget to disconnect your um, negative terminal on your battery so that way we don't short anything out while we're doing this. All right, here's what the old horn looks like and the new horn looks like. So, and all I did was just, again, sorry for the lighting. There's just a plug right on the bottom that you're gonna unplug from here and that'll take this out. And then, like I said, there's only one wire coming out of that and that's gonna be our positive that we're gonna tap into on the harness. And then the ground is gonna ground out to where this bolt was at because that's theoretically how they were doing it before so they're just grounding it out on the, the frame of the car all right so i'm just kind of giving you just a overview of where i'm at right now so i got the one horn right here i just kind of slightly bolted it in it's not even in at all but it just started it then i have my other horn here with the two plugs on the bottom then i have i ran my ground cable and my power cable through here the relay is just sitting down there somewhere and then now this wire has to get spliced into the wire that was where that plug was so the red one's gonna get spliced in and then the black one's gonna get grounded out I was thinking it was gonna get grounded out on the bolt I don't know if I'm gonna have enough wire or not if not I can ground it out on any other like bolt over here so and it doesn't help it is raining now so a lot of stuff is getting wet I pulled it into the garage, but the wind and everything is still just getting everything wet, so I don't, electricity and water don't mix well, but just trying to keep everything as dry as possible. Alright, so I got everything rough wired in right now. So I got my ground here, my positive here, and then I got the two horns plugged in, and then I don't have a loop, I don't have like a connector on the end yet, I just squeeze it in between the bolt, and then I ran my positive into that plug right there. And now let's see if the horn works. Nope. I got the horn to work now. Um, I found out that I just wasn't getting a good ground, so I just switched to a different bolt real quick. Um, I think it's just because these brackets are painted that it's not grounding out good. So I just switched to a, another bolt right on the frame and the horn started working and it was way louder. So, But now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this connector off right here and then I'm gonna just splice in this wire into here I'm gonna put a little loop on here and find a good bolt to ground out to. Um, I wish there was something close. I'll, if I find one, I'll definitely show you guys. So, but obviously that bolt worked. I mean, maybe we can ground out to this one right here. I don't know. Um, but we'll find a bolt somewhere over here. That way we can ground it out good. And also too, I wanted to give you guys just like an idea of how which one's positive negative on the back of the um the horn it's going to be the pot like if you're looking at it in the car on these yellow ones the positive is going to be the back one and the negative is going to be the front one so um, i don't know if you can see it but the positive is going to be farther away from you and then the negative is going to be the first one there so and it's going to be the both it's going to be the same on both of them so and also too 
Um, these screws, I just found another random screw for me. So hopefully you guys will have one laying around. If not, you guys will probably have to go to like Ace Hardware or something to find and match the one that came out of here. So I just want to let you guys know I spliced in this red wire right here to that where that plug was right here. I cut the plug off. Oh yeah, I cut the plug off right here. So I just left a little bit of wire here. So if I ever needed to re-splice this in or something, but I cut that wire off, spliced it in there. I'm gonna tape all this really good, and then the negative cable I grounded out to this bolt right here. I already put some tape over it, so that way. It, it looks okay, but the bumper should still clear it or um, hide it so you won't even see that. Then I got the horn installed here and here, and I'm gonna try to pretty up some of this here. When you guys are using that harness, it does come with a lot more wire than you need to. So, as you can see, here's some excess wire in here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet, but I might just bunch it up and zip tie it. Um, and then I grounded out the other wire right here onto this negative terminal and then I put my positive on this terminal here so pretty much all set up I'm just going to clean this wiring up right here and try to zip tie some things and then try to clean up this wire and then we can throw it on and then we'll see what these look like and sound like. Alright guys so I finally got everything all buttoned up over here so all the screws in place bumpers back on pretty sturdy so and now I got the horns mounted. You can kind of see them. I almost wish they were a little bit lower so that way you could see them like right in the middle of the grill. But they look good and you can see them from the front. So it's just you kind of got to come pretty low in order to see them. So, but they look pretty good. The only thing I'm not liking that I might try to fix in the future is you can, you can see that red wire pretty clear versus the black wire. I'm gonna try to maybe tape that or something so that way the black kind of blends in or make the red blend in so that way you don't see it anymore so and you can see them from up here too so now let's get a sound test and see how these sound um and i got all my wiring pretty much tucked over here zip tied as good as i could like i said this kit comes with a lot of extra wire that is one downfall of having this because i don't know it's a very it's for like some type of subaru like i don't know if it's for the wrx's and they're probably a bigger car so and their battery is probably located differently but it, it works easy. You only have to splice in one wire. That's what's nice about it. All right, so I just honked the horn. It does sound, it does sound louder than what it did before. It doesn't sound like any more aggressive than what it is, but it does sound more loud. So it's not like a train horn, like deep tone, but it does sound loud and I guess if you're trying to get people's attention, that's exactly what you're looking for. So, and I know on a lot of times like Lexuses or anything like that come with a two-tone horn. Like this has a high and a low, and that's why it mixes those two to hopefully get you a more better sound versus just a cheap one, the one-piece one. And you can see this the size difference as well. So, and this one's pretty rusted and corroded, so that's nice to get rid of that and replace it with nice new parts. Alright, so this is what it looks like from afar. Like I said, it's very subtle and in in the camera it doesn't seem like it's as bright as out here. It looks really nice. So and like I said, one with the yellow, yellow accents, that's what I think I'm gonna go with on this car is yellow ac accents on the outside. So but there they are, they look good. Alright, and with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys next time.